Welcome to Om Times TV, a division of Om Times Media and Broadcasting. Consistently attract soulmate clients begin showing up on brand, monetizing on your calling. Welcome all spiritual coaches, leaders, healers, light workers, and practitioners to a show that turns you on in your business and amplifies your magnetism. I'm host, catalyst, and spiritual business coach Rosalind Fung, and I'm here to journey with you into the juicy and help you discover where the real gaps are. Ignite your mindset and soul with strategies and systems as each episode takes you to the sweet spot that activates your sogasmic business. Enjoy this light language activation as we begin to magnetize and monetize. Hello, my loves. Welcome. Today we are talking about the three signs. There might be more, but at least three signs. It's Ross. There's going to be more. Yeah. <laughs> you're leveling up. You're outgrowing where you currently are, whether it's in aspects of your business or aspects or um, your relationship and or your friendships. How do you know? What are the signs? And what, we're not just going to leave you hanging, what to do about it as well. So today's episode is meant to be, and I'm saying it for the intention for um, you to really tune in so that you are receiving the guidance um, through our stories, our shares, and the experiences that we will we will be dropping in here, as well as questions that will come through. So that my mine and Dan's hope for you is that you will take inspired action, no matter how scary it is, but yet you, deep inside you know it's aligned. So some of the things we're going to go through are we are going to talk about the signs you know and um how do you know when it's time to move on how do you get more clarity on what those next steps are so a lot of times people also ask me what happens when you are you know more into personal growth and you're more spiritual than your partner which is often the case with my friends and my clients and Dan we are a perfect example of this we're a power couple and um, we can definitely jam on this I know that we have the four and people see a lot of value in it so so excited now if this is your first time tuning in to me uh, and this episode hello I'm Roslyn I'm so excited to be here to support you in activating your business so that you are calling in full body yes clients by showing up boldly and unapologetically so what I love to help my clients do be and do really is to show up and confidently market themselves you know often my clients hire me because they know there's another level within them but they know they're hiding even if they're showing up and doing all the things they're maybe not quite converting clients um, with their social media and so I love to help people really show up fully expressed authentically of course and be and do create a life and business that they deeply desire and have all that they really, really want. And so, of course, you know, um, part of that is having an epic relationship. So speaking of which, this is my sexy silver fox, Dan Haig. We've been together for almost 21 years, married mm -hmm. for 16, 16 and a half a years. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. So amazing and happily married. Uh, we love to stretch ourselves <laughs> and so we're gonna jam here today now today's episode um before we go into this um please do check the show notes if you're like how do i learn more about you Roz? how do i learn from you you can join my free facebook community called bold and unapologetic uh, visibility for life excuse me life and spiritual coaches 
And you can also check out my free masterclass in the show notes called How to Boldly and Unapologetically Market Your Coaching Biz and Attracts Will Buy Yes Clients. So today's episode is inspired by my big announcement that I'm just about to tell you. You ready for this? <laughs> so this is my final episode here on Om Times Radio and TV. I have been with Om Times for the last three years, started out as a podcast solely for the first two years, and then this past year in a bit, um, it became a TV show. And this was part of the, the growth for me is I started out as a podcast and I love being on camera. I love being on video. And I'm just like, yo, we need to take this into a TV show. And it's so much more fun, you know, and I just feel like, and I know video builds more like no trust factor. Um, I can repurpose it a lot easier and more. So for me, um, oh yes, and Christopher, my wonderful <laughs> producer of Home Times Radio is like, uh, it's a radio show too. That's right, it's a podcast, it's a radio show, it's a TV show. So it um, has a large audience and I'm so grateful for this platform. I'm so grateful for all it's given uh, to me and how it served me and Rosalind Fun Coaching Inc. And it's time to go to the next level for me. And part of that is recognizing, you know, nothing's personal. Everything is looking at where are we right now? Where are you right now in your business? And so when I ask myself those questions, I'm looking at, and I train my clients to also see things this way. What's your big vision? Where do you want to go? And what is getting in the way like what are the gaps you need to close and what i realized for myself is i want to be more um free in the way i express myself and i don't want to just be uh in the confines of having to do it within an hour of an episode i just want to have many clips in different ways and and it just i recognize for myself it hasn't really been, I actually lost clarity in this process. And so I hired an incredible team, uh, my friends, Tim and Valerie of Podcast Tune Up, Valerie McTavish. And um, you guys have seen her before. She's a good friend of mine here in Kelowna. Kelowna and um, she's the video confidence coach. And her husband, Tim, is a podcast coach. And so I've hired them to help me see my vision a little bit more clearly because when you're in your own shed, you can't see the forest from the trees, right? And so for me, I have um, already, I've only been working with them for uh, a couple sessions and they have um, uh, modules as well. And I've already been crying because I've been having so many breakthroughs and so much clarity in where I'm going. So stay tuned. I don't have anything <laughs> finalized yet, but you can definitely continue to um, follow me on social media, of course, and I will be making that announcement when I'm ready to uh, relaunch my new show, and we will see what that looks like. I still don't have clarity, so I'm very excited, though. Okay, my love, so why don't we talk about, like, how do you know? What are some signs that you've been outgrowing can we talk about like business first for like sure, aspects of, of your business well, how do you feel what are some signs okay and for those of you who are you know first time watchers and listeners here i'm a certified financial planner so i've got a very different business than what, <laughs> than what my dear wife has here i focus more on the the left side um the strategic side when it comes to numbers and and charts to help improve your finances so i take a very different perspective on this but it all comes down to the same thing if if I am not energized by a certain relationship or a certain situation, then I simply know it, it's not working. If it doesn't add to my business, mm -hmm. if it takes away, if I feel, <clears throat> if that's my first reaction, when I, I hear a message from someone, you know, or I think of a certain task and that's my first reaction, I know it's not serving me. 
so it's like that dread you're not lit up you feel like for me it's kind of like that's probably one of the signs is i'm just um and not for everything but definitely you know i'm recognizing i'm like okay i don't get lit up by this mm -hmm. you know even when i'm thinking about the clients when i was a self-love coach and as i was serving my clients mm -hmm. of course you know i enjoyed serving the clients but as I continued in that journey, I was just like, oh, it feels like there's something more. Like I want to create more impact in a different way. Like, you know, you sometimes, it may sound kind of bad, but like you kind of sound, feel bored. You feel bored about how you're serving. It's the same thing over and over and over again. And so maybe for some of you, if you're recognizing this, it may mean a couple things. Number one, you're not um you're outgrowing the niche you're serving right now or your business model is um not you might still really enjoy the work you do in terms of the niche you serve but your business model might not be um supporting you in feeling lit up with joy so what i mean by that is often and i hear this with uh, some of my clients is like I feel like I keep teaching the same thing over and over and over again to every new client. And I just don't want to repeat myself. If it, It's boring. It's not challenging. And sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, say there's a big difference between easy and fun. If, you know, doing the same thing over and over again is easy, that's fine if you want easy. But if you want fun and energizing and, and you know, contributing to your big vision, and if it's not doing that, then you need to change. And if it feels like it's like, um, I mean, for us, we like to feel challenged. I love it when my clients ask me questions and I just feel so lit up about it. And then it's, it makes me really show up even more at that next level. I'm like, yeah, that's a really freaking amazing question. You know, you know what I kind of can relate it to is we're both in our forties. Um, and it, it's interesting, you know, in, in Alberta and, and BC, you're an adult when you're 18 or 19. Right. But you know, there's a difference between an 18 year old to a 28 year old to a 38 year old to a 43 year old, <laughs> right? You can tell the difference, right? So if you, as we're all evolving individually, I mean, your business still evolves too. And if, uh, you know, if you notice that it's not serving you, but you're not achieving your big vision, then it's time to uh, continue with that evolution. Right, absolutely, level up. And so one of the suggestions <laughs> I, I say, for example, because I'm all about being practical, we both are, <laughs> and tangible, is that perhaps if you're repeating yourself over and over again, have you thought about creating um, modules so that, let's say you're serving your one-on-one -on -one clients or maybe even group coaching clients, there's a portal that they log into and they watch those modules. So you're not repeating yourself. And so in my client attraction Academy, as well as my, which is my 12 week uh, program, as well as my soul Ascension business Academy, which was my one year group and one-on-one -on -one hybrid program, Client Attraction Academy is like the appetizer and Soul Ascension Business Academy is like the appetizer and the full meal deal and then the multiple desserts. Like that's how amazing this program is. <laughs> multiple desserts. I like that. <laughs> right? I'm a fan of that. One. And so, and I'm not kidding you. It is a dream. My clients are just like, oh my God, I feel so supported. I'm like, yes, because it's not just me, but I have expert coaches in there that serve and support my clients in different ways from social media copywriting pr and energy clearing so you guys i'm like i would pay for my own program like that's how for that's how you want to feel right you want to feel so lit up about the program that you've created that you would pay for it you know what i mean like create it for you <laughs> and so um what i have is a portal and i i have modules so i use kajabi as my platform and my clients log in and then this is such a win-win-win because they learn what i want to teach and i don't have to repeat myself and then when we come on to the live group coaching calls or the one-on-ones when i'm working with one-on-one -on -one clients they um they are able to go through what they learn and then have even more customized support because of where they may have more questions based on the teachings from the modules, right? That makes it more juicy. That makes it more 
mm, come alive for both of you. And it's even more in deeper service to your clients because they are coming to the table with specific questions for their own business. So I hope that's an aha for you. Let me know, um, write that one down. That one's a really, really big aha for a lot of people. I do know that. Um, did you have anything else to add to that one, babe? Well, I also wanted to kind of take a few steps back to one of the things you mentioned earlier is, you know, we, we all have a big vision and we all get energized by it. Um, and we all have very a high level of expert knowledge in whatever yeah. field we're in. And to portray that that energy and that that level of, of prestige that you have in your field, it's a very difficult thing to do. And it's often done in the first five seconds of meeting someone, right? Mm. So if you walk into an experience like a networking event, for instance, and you're you're shy and you know you're looking down, you're not making eye contact, you could be the top expert in the world at whatever field you're in, but you're not showing that. So you know it's very important, like what you were mentioning is to have that confidence and that that um, the energy that you are professional, mm. you are the top, you are you are in control of your realm, right? Mm. So I think uh, you know that's not as important as having the knowledge, but you know showing that you do. I think uh, just sets the relationship up going forward. You know, it, to put a more practical example there, um, you know, my clients come in and then they know bits and pieces of their financial situation. I want them to walk out with either two considerations. Either one, they say, oh, great, I've learned so much more. Or number two, I'm glad Dan is is telling me what to do here because he's on top of things, right? Mm -hmm. So those are the two outcomes that I want. Yes. So coming back to leveling up, what I'm hearing you say is that how do you know when you're outgrowing something is you are also look at yourself, right? The t most successful entrepreneurs reflects on themselves because your business is a reflection of your psychology. So it, the success of your business will only go as far as your psychology. Yeah. And so if you're recognizing you're hiding, you're playing small and you're like, okay, I'm not getting the results I want. How is it that, you know, in this case, it's not so much outgrowing. It's more like you need to stretch yourself to move to that next level. And that is going to require you to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Right. You guys, if you've been following us on all our episodes here, titled pleasure in the bedroom and bank um you will see and hear that dan and i are exact examples of this if we want to look at you know even in a relationship how do you know you are outgrowing your relationship well you feel bored you feel like maybe and we're talking about romantic relationships right now um i mean but this can apply to friendships right but in a romantic relationship you feel like the passion isn't there the the you're stuck in the roommate yeah the scenario, roommate right? scenario yeah. right or like you constantly feel frustrated because you feel like you're not on the same page you're trying to communicate you don't feel like your needs are met um and um just a, rem a reminder that my master's is in marriage and family therapy. I used to be a therapist, a psychologist. And so I worked a lot with couples. This is why we're called pleasure in the bedroom and bank. <laughs> and so we want to help couples have more epic communication, uh, particularly around money, because money is one of the number one things that stresses couples out, that creates divorce. It is the number one. And it just, we don't want that for you. If this, this is preventable, this is, um, this is, he I'm going to make up a new word right now, healable, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, why wouldn't you take that, that chance? So how do we, I know a question that we often get asked is how do we, hubs, um, because I am a way more spiritual woo, we'll say, bit, just a little bit. <laughs> than my left brain financial planning yeah. husband. How do we do it? How do we do it? So like, as I'm doing all my spiritual stuff, and I'm telling Dan about my Kashic soul sessions with my clients and open up the records of our soul. I can see visions and images. I even do it with him, mm -hmm. right? I'm curious, like, how is it that you're like taking all of this in? What happens in your mindset and your brain? <laughs> Tell us. Well, you, you know, what it comes down to is, uh, is I have the mindset that, you know, everyone 
chooses her own path. It's not my way or the highway, right? Yes. I'm not I'm not staunch set on a certain way of of thinking. So when when you which is important, I think you just said something very key is you are not rigid. You're yeah. open minded. Of course, and you know, being married to Rosalind Fung, you got to be open minded about a lot of different things there. <laughs> But uh, that's that's what I love about her, and that's what keeps me excited, and and that's what keeps our relationship fresh. Is that there, you know, you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Um, <laughs> added on to that, you know, we we we've, we've taken a number of personal development courses, and we continue to do that in different fashions. Uh, you know, um, Roz and I were talking to Jay and Corey Fassay not too long ago um, about another aspect of that. But keeping- that's a love, sex, and psychedelics episode. So make sure you do go tune into that one. That's like a few episodes back. It, it, it's, it's interesting. Hot. It's fun. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> that's another way to put it. Yes. Um, but keeping these new experiences, both in your, your intimate relationship and your business relationship, right, keeps it fresh and keeps you excited and keeps you, keeps you going on. We have had mm-hmm. connections on Facebook who were maybe more extreme examples of, or, or maybe people who were more rigid in their thinking mm-hmm. and they just, you know, their, their marriage, they just decided to separate because the, um, they, they didn't have that, that flexibility and that acceptance, nor did they seemingly want to communicate that with each other. Yeah. So, you know, so it's, it, it all comes down to what, um, you know, how flexible you are with your uh, significant other. And not just that, I mean, like flexibility is definitely a trait that's going to support you in taking your life in all areas to that next level, right? When we're trying, we're so rigid and we're so closed minded, which most of you aren't. I know that because you wouldn't be watching my episode if you were closed minded, but, (laughs) but it's like, if, if we can sometimes, but sometimes we have partners who are right partners who are not open to really looking at things from our perspective, then I want you to look at that as a mirror and ask yourself, right? How are you showing up for your partner? Are you being open-minded? Are you listening? Are you trying to empathize and understand first? Because that's the first step to help them feel seen and feel heard and potentially open up new portals and new possibilities of exploring where it is that you want to go with them. That is is huge. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, Roz and I have had fights in the past. Oh, really? (laughs) Just (laughs) just, just a few. But when when Roz is focused on what I'm saying and listening with yeah. intention to my words. I feel like I've been hurt. If she was waving her hand is dismissing me and already um, formulating a counter argument before I'm even done. Then, Not going to lie. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, sometimes it has happened. happened. I'm, thank you for admitting that. <laughs> <laughs> Here too. Um, then it's not going to work. You know, the communication is going to fail because you're both trying to prove to the other that you're right rather than hearing the other person out. So, uh, and, and I think it relates to mm-hmm. business too, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if you're if you're thinking about your business, we, we, part of our, our process through this psychedelics experience was also to recognize our business. Mm-hmm. And we were speaking to our business and having a conversation with it and finding out what our business needs yes. so we can provide it. So it was it was a fascinating experience from a left brain guy to speak to my business as if mm-hmm. it was a person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it it triggered some new thought processes for me. Yeah, and so you know, and even with friendships, right? Like, how do we know when we've outgrown our friendships? Now, in general, when you're ascending, when you're becoming even more spiritual. Um, and this is where it gets a little like the gap starts to if the partner, your partner isn't growing with you in whatever way that is, you don't just grow at the same rate, but that gap will widen if they're not doing any anything at all. Now, I'm not saying they have to, but you got to be mindful about that. And are you willing to accept that? Right. And for some of us, we're not because I mean, life happens and we change and we evolve and some of us are choose not to or choose to be slower at it. And that's, there's no judgment around that. Okay. Everybody is here for a different um, purpose and to be teachers for us. And when I was a marriage and family therapist, I would say success isn't staying together. 
It's about coming to your truth and owning your truth. And so sometimes that is staying together and doing the hard work and making that work. But sometimes it means you may separate and you may go your own ways. But the the truth is the most important piece here, right? Because sometimes we get into relationships and marriages for all the wrong reasons in the first place. And that partner is not aligned for us, right? So is it successful to stay together? No, right? But if it crushes your joy, no. And so um, with friendships, it's, I feel like, you know, I've outgrown, I would say many friendships over the last decade, and I've lost a lot of friends. Um, and when I look back, it really is because I find like, they're still beautiful people, but I can tell like, there's just no alignment, you know, that feeling of, you don't feel lit up trying to get be, like gang together anymore. You don't feel lit up and want to call them anymore. Or they like, if they call you, you're not excited to pick up the phone kind of thing. I mean, for those of us that still pick up the phone and call <laughs> each other, <laughs> but you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like a matter of like exploring what is that about for me and, and not making the other person wrong, but you know, I recently had a friendship, uh, um, gosh, like about, oh, like 20 years. And I won't mention any names, but like, we definitely are very different people. People are surprised we're even friends. They, they don't get it. But this person has been in my life for a really long time. They're a very dear friend to me, but we are so different that sometimes it's kind of hard to uh, connect. And so this person and I had a really deep conversation. We were in our defenses at first and we were almost going to have a divorce and it would have been really ugly in terms of like ugly tears. And, you know, just, we just, we just were able to break through our defenses and soften and come to the truth of really sharing those withholds, like what really was that wall about between us and it actually deepened our friendship and those feelings aren't there. We're now we're, we, we've, we're friends now and they don't have any of that. That's amazing how you were able to I mean, turn it around. I mean, we're still friends, yeah. I should say, yeah. right? We were able yeah. to turn around. And I feel like when I look back, it's because this other person has very high emotional intelligence and <clears throat> so do I. And so we were able to recognize our own shit and finally like get vulnerable and connect underneath all that shit. Right. And when I look back at those friendships that have fallen apart, some were recognizing that I was too much. And this has happened with business partners, like a couple um, or collapse. I should say we weren't officially in business together, but we were doing some projects together. And I could tell they weren't as um, and I'm, there's absolutely no judgment here, but they just weren't they had not done as much work inner work as I had had and so their ego constantly came up and one admitted it and um and just like you know we figured out a way to continue our working relationship but our friendship dissolved because it was just too much and we were able to make that successful um and I think that takes talent too and it takes a certain amount of emotional intelligence from both of us to be able to to have those boundaries and the other people that fell away they didn't have the emotional intelligence to be able to communicate um like two adults like their inner child came in and it just what that looked like was ghosting um mostly that's what it looked like you know, like a husband and i don't deal with my my inner child little Roz, does not deal well with ghosting she does not deal well with that like the anxious of attachment part of me is just like wound is like what's happening you know so i beautiful though because these people are, are powerful teachers for me to heal what hasn't been healed yet so that's how i look at it so anyways to anything you want to add there my love like you have also had friendships that dissolved mm -hmm long time ago um it just didn't once again it, it i wasn't in a place where you know having a deep conversation about it was kind of in my repertoire at that point mm -hmm. uh, because this sort of talking over 20 years ago 25 years ago type of thing so it just kind of faded away and for a while it hurt quite a bit right um 
if that type of situation would have occurred now, I think the outcome would have been very different. Mm -hmm. And maybe, a, you know, mm -hmm. find a commonality. Yeah, may, the friendship may have still dissolved, but it would have been a satisfactory dissolution mm -hmm. rather than one that was hurtful. Right. Right. Yeah. Is there something that you like, what's the lessons that you took from those situations? Like how, when you look at your younger self, how would you now knowing, knowing um, no. what you know now, how would you have dealt with it differently? Um, like, like you just mentioned, I think the communication is vital to any type of relationship, whether it's friendship, marriage, business relationship. And can you be more specific? Yeah. Though? So, I mean, discussing what the issues were that, that were lingering because the mm -hmm. core of the issue was there was a, a lot of unknowns mm -hmm. and uh, you know being in mystery is often worse than knowing the actual facts right and yeah that's the one thing that you feel really anxious around is like not knowing yeah for yeah. sure and i think that's very common for a lot of people even a client situation i'm dealing with yeah. right now we have to get we have to get a government agency to report back and the government agency isn't doing it in a timely fashion. So having this big question mark hanging over his head is is stress inducing, mm -hmm, right? So, mm -hmm. and I think that applies to any situation, not knowing where where the situation sits, what, uh, what the other person is thinking is typically worse than knowing the facts, even if it's negative facts. Right, right? like at least having facts is grounding. It's like, yeah. okay, now you There's have certainty. the facts. Yeah. Like even looking at your relationship with money, right? Here's another leveling up, right? So it's just like, if you don't know what your money situation looks like, if you don't know what your expenses versus your profits, like my loves, you gotta know, <laughs> okay? Just look at the facts. It can be very emotional. Of course it is, uh, like money comes with a lot of wounds. Um, I've got and, some clients who don't know how much income they make in a year. Like they don't know how much money they make. Wow. Like that that yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it is common, but it's not okay. Mm -hmm. So it's in our control, our sovereignty, our empowerment to um, really like look at the numbers, notice the emotions that come up, don't let them drive the bus. And once you have those facts, whether you like those numbers or not, you then now have the control to um, do something about it. You don't know what to do, resources, right? Get some mentors, get some help because you staying stuck here isn't gonna allow you to really manifest what it is that you want in your big vision. So when we come back, we're gonna continue talking about um, other ways and how you might be outgrowing your business, aspects of your business, and you know how do you know you're leveling up and what do you want to, what do you, to do about it, all right? So we'll be right back. Om Times TV. Imagine becoming a super influencer. Reinvent yourself, invest in your brand, and then manifest your success with a robust spheric approach. Om Times Media and Broadcasting offers a unique and multifaceted way to become the spiritual and conscious influencer you deserve to be by putting your message across our powerful platform with its proven record of integrity and excellence. Through our produced shows, Own Times offers the opportunity to become a social media TV personality, a radio show host, an Own Times magazine columnist, and a syndicated podcaster, all in one shot. By live streaming your show on Ohm Times TV and broadcasting it across the extensive Ohm Times radio and TV networks, you become more than a host. You become an ambassador and a force for positive change. Ohm Times, open yourself to the possibilities. Are you feeling maxed out working one-on-one -on -one with clients and you're deeply desiring to scale your business for more time freedom without sacrificing your income, but rather expanding it? Many of my clients who are light workers, healers, practitioners, and even coaches, they're often multi-modality, are coming to me because they are sick and tired of working with clients on a one-off session model where the clients are coming in on a as need basis. Or if they're selling packages, they are selling them in the sense of buy five, get one free, or the greater the number of sessions, the greater the discount. The problem with this is it's still a 
dollar for hours business model. And so that leaves the practitioner feeling really exhausted and overwhelmed from having to put so much time, effort, and energy in finding new clients that they're not operating in their most elevated self with their current clients. And so if this is you, I would love to share with you that it's time to elevate your business and scale it to sell high ticket one-on-one programs or even group programs. This will allow you to have more deeper impacts because you're raising your clients' results. You're scaling your business and you're having that time freedom you deeply are yearning for. If this is resonating with you, love, I'd love to invite you to come on a soul business alignment call with me so that you can stop feeling like you're on this roller coaster ride and start to feel safe and stable and even having fun in your business and your finances. Please go to electrifymybusiness.com to apply and we'll hop on a call. I can't wait to connect. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize, and accuse, walk a mile in my shoes. All right, welcome back, my love. So how do you know you're about to level up or that you're being called up, right? You're outgrowing your current aspects of your business and you know you need to take yourself to that next level. So we talked about the signs of feeling frustrated, uh, perhaps feeling like you're going around in circles, like almost like what's a point or and or you're feeling either dread or not lit up as as much as you used to about this aspect of your business, whether it's the niche you're serving or maybe your business model or you're just not hitting your like next level goals that you're wanting, whether that's like more clients, more income. Yeah, to, I mean, really increasing your bottom line is really where it's at. Right. Um with joy okay mm -hmm. with joy because like i was about to throw that in there too, so. <laughs> i'm so yeah. glad you did yeah. right because let's face it like you can have lots of money you can make lots of money and so many people do but they feel empty inside right that's not aligned and so this is really about aligning with joy aligning with your soul purpose and taking yourself your business to that next level i love reading soul sessions akashic soul sessions for people because when i'm channeling information i can see what's possible aligned with their soul purpose for their future it is so much fun and then often they have me look at um the business uh past life of the business and or your past life like the client's past life and then be and, and the powerful archetype that their soul was to be activated now in this lifetime for, to support them in their soul purpose so it's powerful but i want to ask dan as well like what were some of your signs when you knew like you were starting to either outgrow your business model or the way things were running in your business and were you clear about what that next step was yeah so w what what it came down to me was was it fun anymore right because like mm. uh, like i mentioned before you can keep on doing your same thing and it might be easy um for instance one uh, niche that i serve is people who are retiring uh in the next five years and that's a great niche and i'm damn good at doing this um but it's also pretty easy you know which is both a good and a bad thing yeah it's easy in that it's you know i can do my that's job very, very well yeah but it doesn't fire me up. It doesn't energize me. So when I realized that, I'm like, how can I help my business evolve more so that I feel more passionate about it? I, now I'm looking at, at different niches from social impact to helping people, you know, focus on 
the intergenerational transfer of wealth. So making sure that their kids and, and their charities that they're uh, that are important to them, they get the maximum benefit from their estates. So there's these aspects. Uh, so are you gonna no. say something? No. Um, Just getting turned on listening <laughs> to you talk. So and uh, then I'll keep talking. Um, <laughs> and then also, you know, I have an associate. Andrew and I work together, and we were spinning our wheels a lot last year, and we realized that, and saying, you know, we're doing the things that we didn't come into this business to do. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a CFP, a certified financial planner. One of Canada's top, by the way, with IG Well. I'll just put that plug in. Um, but I'm, uh, I, I was doing paperwork, you know, digital paperwork. And that's not what I came into this business to do. This is not my skill set, right? I didn't, I didn't take, you know, this career path so I could push paper, like the digital paper. We don't use physical paper anymore. But... <laughs> Um, it's just so, FYI. Yeah, FYI. <laughs> if you can. Well, we're not that old school. Um, so bringing on board someone to leverage my time mm. to do the things that I feel passionate about, that's what fires me up. So last year... Oh, hang on. This what feels like a piece of gold just dropping in right now. So breathe that in. Right? Can you say that again, Lev? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Bringing somebody in to leverage, leverage yes. your time so in my business okay in with and for you my loves who you are life and spiritual coaches you are meant to be staying in your zone of genius mm -hmm. and so oftentimes i i get it in the beginning of your business if you're a newbie you may not have the um, cash flow to be investing a lot of money into hiring people yet. Okay. So it's, um, you may in the beginning of your business be doing some of these things because you're still getting clients. So you do have the time, but as you grow, you're going to start getting irritated. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is where, even as I'm growing uh, this past year, I was like, fuck, I'm getting so irritated. I don't want to be doing this or this or this. And I need somebody I just, oh, I'm getting all these downloads. I need somebody just to write, I like need a right hand person. And it was like this next level right hand person. Cause I have, uh, I definitely have amazing team, but they have their own tasks assigned and, um, with specific areas of my business. And I'm recognizing I need something different, like a different role. And so I was recognizing this feeling that's another sign, right? Irritable, irritable and frustrated. Cause I was like, things are not getting done fast enough. <laughs> like I just get all these downloads. I want this implemented now. And, and so for me, that's like, okay, well then, well, how do I leverage my time and really like resources? What resources I need to pull in. And for me, sometimes I don't know. So that's where having a mentor who's ahead of me, who's mm -hmm. been where I am and steps ahead, you know, and, and where I want to be, that is one of the best investments I can make in my business because they get it. They've been there and they can look and ask me the questions so that I can reflect on myself and they can um, make suggestions of where my next steps are to get me, to help myself get me to where I want to go. And that's what I love helping my clients do. They've been there, done that. You don't yeah. need to reinvent the wheel if someone else has already made it yes. to perfection. Yeah, like tried, tested, and true. Yeah. This is my bold method, right? And so, again, if you don't know what the heck that is, go and check out my free masterclass. <laughs> I'd share about it. It's a tried and tested method, proven. And so this is where it's just like you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Hire somebody who you resonate with, who's where you want to be, and go for it right that's how you level up you can't see even when like even though i help my clients you know like i can't see outside of my own business um and so i have my own biases and blind spots having a coach will help you see things more objectively and help you release those blind spots so that you can move forward in your business. You don't know what you don't know. That's often why people hire me. They're like, 
I just love to heal people. I just love to coach people, but I don't know how to market myself. I'm so uncomfortable. And so it's like, great, I can totally help you release those stories and those beliefs and help you step into your power and have so much fun selling. Cause I mean, it's in my last name. So if you're not having fun, we're not doing it. We got to figure out a way that feels good and authentic. Fun with fun. That's right. Yeah. So you want to jump back in there then? What yeah. what did you guys end up doing then? So we, we hired a new assistant. Um, so she can handle a lot of the tasks that yeah. allow Andrew and I to do the things mm -hmm. that can grow the business and, and give us intrinsic value too. Because when I reach out to people and I impact their lives in a positive way, that makes me feel good. It's not just for, for the dollars. Uh, money is near and dear to people's hearts. So if I can relieve stress or you know help them achieve their goals and they've got a smile on their face, that is, that is what we do. So Andrew and I focus on these client interactions, whereas my new assistant, she's doing the, the paperwork and providing that valuable support that we certainly need. Mm -hmm. right? right. And so now as you're listening to this, where, what is it that is your next step? You're feeling frustrated. You're feeling like things aren't getting done enough or you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm spending way too much time doing a min work these would be signs to level up, to stretch yourself. It really is a stretch to um, stretch yourself to hire people, right? And to whether that's a coach, whether that's team, it is absolutely a stretch because it's, a, it's an expense. But also I want you to see it as an investment, right? When you're investing, then you're getting the ROI of clarity, of more clients, of more income, okay? As long as you take radical responsibility, of course, because here's the truth. A lot of people, a lot of people pay a lot of money to coaches thinking, okay, then then I got it. And then they don't show up to do the work. It doesn't work that way. So um, that's something important. I've seen that over time. It's just, I don't get it. Like I'm not the person that pays 10 K 20 K 30 K to not show up, but people do. And so, and then the, <laughs> that's victim mindset, right? That's just like, well, I paid this much. I should be getting an ROI, but you haven't been listening. You haven't been doing the work. You haven't been right. And so thank goodness. I am gonna say, I do not have clients like this, but, um, I have seen, and heard through colleagues, like client people that pay a shit ton of money and just don't show up. And we're all like, how do you do that? How do you, <laughs> so it's not really about the money. Okay. And I also wanted to throw it in there. I, I was a little scared of spending money on a new hire. Right. So oh, especially when, sure. when you're maybe newer in your business, I mean, I'm 15 years into my career, but even when you're newer into your business, you might not want to spend too much money. What you have to do from a financial planning perspective is break down how much is your time worth? When you when you do a session or when you 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 when you're providing a service to your clients, mm -hmm. is it twenty five bucks an hour? Is it a hundred bucks an hour? Is it three hundred dollars an hour? What is that charge for you? What what do, what income do you make from doing that? And then if you're spending an hour doing paperwork, could somebody making fifteen or twenty dollars an hour do that while you're making a hundred dollars an hour? Basic math, right? makes a ton of sense. So from a numbers perspective and from the energetic perspective, if you're in a spot where you don't have any time to grow your business, that's a clear sign yes. to hire someone, to yes. leverage with a coach, whatever you need to do to grow your business. This was so gold. This was so gold. Okay. So like, I want you to think about that. Like what is your time, the value of your time, right? And so when you break it down that way, then you in your business as coaches, life and spiritual coaches, you should be working on networking, writing your own content for uh, and marketing strategies. Okay. You can have help for sure, but you have your own voice. Remember when you're starting out or even now I still write my copy. And so, because nobody is me. Right. And, and so until you find an epic copywriter that might help you, which is great, but it's like you still are the vision. So you should be doing the networking, the marketing, the showing up. I mean, when I say marketing, I also mean showing up on video, 
on lives, on your stories, you know, selling in the DMs or PR, like however you do that live networking events, right? That's the marketing. Then you're here to do the sales delivery, right? You're staying in, in uh, sorry, not the well, sales calls. And then also the, the, um, service of your clients, right? And then re-signing lines. So if they're aligned for that next level with you. So it's important to look at what are the tasks that are going to keep you moving forward in your business to generate more clients and more income, right? Or like scaling your business, whatever that looks like. So it doesn't mean you have to have more clients to have more income. You could look at raising your rates, right? Doing more group coaching, because they'll scale your business, not one off sessions. Maybe you need bigger packages, right? For that higher transmission, because dollar for hours, mm, you just throw on my commercial, don't do that, right? I've done that as a therapist and it really does call in a different kind of client when people do one offs versus, um, and I can even see that for my Akashic Soul sessions, right? When I have clients who pay in bigger packages, it's just like, boom, the transformation is so much bigger. And I also wanted to mention, you know, a lot of people say, well, have that philosophy. If I don't do it myself, well, it won't get done properly. Mm -hmm. um, it was interesting. I, I re read, well, I'm halfway through reading a book by a connection we have here in Kelowna. His name is Dan Martell. He read a book called Buy Back Your Time. Oh, wow. And one of the messages in there is if you can hire someone else to do these jobs, and even if they're only 80% uh, as good at it as you are, that's still a hell of a lot better than you committing a hundred percent of your own time into doing it. Because yeah. once again, you're, you're not producing income. You're not doing what you intended this business to be. You didn't jump into this business to do paperwork. You jumped into this business to serve people. Yeah. Right. So hire someone, bring in a coach, do what you need to do to leverage your time and, and jump back into the energy that fulfills your, your life that fills your bucket. Absolutely. So I feel like there's so much gold here, my love. So I just want to say, like, thank you so much to my community here on my YouTube channel, on my podcast, on Om Times Radio and TV. Um, I am not gone. Okay, I'm just transitioning into a different way and again it's still a mystery and how that's going to be showing up and how i'm unfolding because i'm still discovering i'm in discovery and i'm excited um but i want to say thank you so much to Om times radio and tv to christopher buck who is the incredible founder and um and producer of the show I'm gonna so miss you, Christopher. And um, and uh, I just learned that uh, Om Times, well, Om Times Radio and TV are having an Omi Awards. It's kind of like the Grammy Awards. And um, I'm very honored to be awarded the Community Award. Um, I just found that out right before we went live. So thank you so much, Christopher. Um, I really appreciate that. Oh, Christopher is like, we're going to miss you. He's chatting with me as we're talking right now. So <sighs> I just want to say thank you. And you guys can continue following me on social media. All my podcast episodes will still be on Om Times uh, Network. So you're welcome to go and binge on those. You can find Activate Your Soul Gasmic Business on um, Apple, iTunes, and Spotify, and anywhere there's podcasts. Um, as well, I host these on my own YouTube channel at Rosalind Fung. So it's still going to be up. These are really incredible, epic, epic um, episodes that create breakthroughs for many people. And the guests I have on, I'm just so grateful that they've said yes to sharing this platform with me and i'm just so excited about what's to unfold i don't know yet but i just do know it's my next level so please do um follow me and um you guys know i'm pretty transparent about all the journeys i go on so <laughs> stay tuned so my love um i want to just in these last couple minutes here do uh, my final light language activation to support you in <sighs> clearing anything that's getting in the way of your next level if you know you're outgrowing your business aspects of it you know your next level is hiring a mentor a coach um, somebody on your team 
you may know that you are here to just like really step into your next power, your next level, reclaim your power fully. That's what this light language is for, is for you to receive fully, fully the downloads that are going to support you. The codes are going to support you in your next level. So here we go, breathing in. And then just really beautifully allowing yourself to release whatever doesn't release. So here's the clearing. Clearing everything that isn't of service to you, to your business for the highest good and truth. Clearing any relationships in business or friendships that are no longer aligned. And calling in, here we go, calling in those people, those clients, those team members, the mentor, the coach, whoever that is that's going to serve and support you and your business to level up in your next level, bold and unapologetic visibility, client attraction, and beautiful monetizing on your calling. Breathing in. Suspending your breath, feeling all your visions into your third eye, into your crown chakra, to the cosmos. And then with your exhale, slowly breathing out so your breath are like roots of a tree, grounding down these intentions, grounding down your power, your next level, a seat beginning to rise. And so it is set a Breathing one more time. And out. Thank you, my loves, for joining Thank us. You. I love you, my beautiful community. Please do come and play my free Facebook group, Bold and Unapologetic Visibility for Life and Spiritual Coaches. Check out my free masterclass. I will see you in there. Mwah.